Without me, eyes are marbles. No darkness they see. Faces look garbled. No flurry they feel. No breath, no cheer. Death not to fear. Time is not spent. Roses has no scent. At nothing you can marvel without me. But it wasn't roses, my precious. Not roses. Lilies. Not lilies. Not roses. Which one was it, precious? upon his back. We may provide you with a car. There is no hope for him, I fear. The creature is lost. Well, let's see how he responds to some light. Someone tortured him long before the Dunadan found him. The darkness grows beyond our borders. My people are growing anxious. We cannot let this evil linger among us, Gandalf. We believe that he went to Mordor. That's what I feared. What did he hope to find, I wonder? Believe us. I want to hear what he has to say. Why don't we start with your name? Your real name, not the one others have given you. Very well. Let us try someone else's name. Bilbo Baggins. Yes, you remember him. He found you, more than 60 years ago, deep underneath the roots of the Misty Mountains. He took something from you. A ring. My precious. You were looking for it, weren't you? You left your home in the mountains, worming your way down the hills, always hiding from the moon. You followed the Hobbit's trace all the way east to the Lonely Mountain. But then you stopped and turned south. Why? Something must have drawn you away. A voice calling you to the land of shadow. Leave us alone! Whispering your name in your dream. Not listening! So, once again, what is your name? Smeagol. Very well, Smeagol. Now, let us start at the beginning.
Mountains of Shadow. That is where you are hiding. Mustn't ask. Why is it asking us questions? Why? You know why. to the orcs. Never. But we have sharp ears and we listen. When we came, the nasty orc, long dead. You must have had friends once. A family. They kicked us, cast us out, cast them all, cast them. It was our birthday. Yes, it was. Your birthday. It was our 
precious. Oh, precious. My birthday present. It came to me on my birthday. <laughs> so I've heard. Ox couldn't see us. No one could see us. Not even nasty wizards. How did you find it? You're precious. <laughs> nasty light! <laughs> Smeagol wants to sleep. He cannot sleep now. But I shall dim the light for you. Friend, was he precious? <laughs> Not tricksing us now, is he? Hmm? No, no, not anymore. Bugs home, bird's foot, all the same, sweet one. In a stupid song. Perhaps she helps us now, the great spider. Perhaps. Nibble the beasts to eat, yes, and crunchy oxies, but she doesn't like them much. <laughs> So you never left that cave? Never. And no one ever saw you? No one. Tell the wraiths and squeal on us. <laughs> Dirty little spy, squeeze it. Yes, squeeze the crooks, and then we eat. Oh, oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
was that? And that's how far you ever went into Mordor. We never, never left the clouds. Why is it asking us? There it is, the spy. Two of them. Two little croaks. says all lands and mountains it might see by him. Not him. Not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen. They never caught you. Mustn't yet. lose them. Then why are there torture marks on your hands? <laughs> she could help us. Something's brewing. Even the shriekers are out and flying. Those screams will make your skin crawl. into her webs, and then... War, that's what's brewing. Folks eye up are getting tense. <laughs> Stay close to them, precious. Oh, <laughs> 
Kill it, smash it, eat it. But there's no one here, no one around, just a bit longer. And what about the screens, eh? They're always around. No, not them. Not the wraiths. Terrible wraiths with wings. Turn us into pale little flames. Not the wraiths, precious. Not them. Smash it. Smash it. Swallow it whole.
Not this way. They brought you to him, didn't they? The Dark Lord. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? Nask. The ring. Nask. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. We swear. We swear. Don't tell them, precious. Baggins took his baggins from the Shire. So he knows.
What's this for? It's a number four. Lay <laughs> down. Please, Smiku doesn't know a thing. We swears. Finn old man must tell them. Be quiet. You will get us all killed. Gonna talk again. What was that? Right down and be quiet. Yes. I need the car. Down the bridge. I think okay. He won't. That stinks, sir. I said, shut up. <laughs> to some beast. But we took Joke! Nimdach! Nimdach! Oppression! Just keep your head down. Do what the masters tell you. Run! Run till your feet are bloody! What is that thing? Not a dwarf. Not a goblin. Too ugly for either of them. Be quiet. Yes, my king. <laughs> Please, we don't understand. This way. Hey, Grashnik, I didn't catch your name. Smeagol. Smeagol. You're going to die down here, Smeagol. My advice, make your death count. 
You have to get the Borrocks back into their pens. As fast as you can. They let you starve if you're slow. Borrocks? The beasts. If they run at you, find cover. Get to high ground if you can. They don't have the best eyes. Open the pens and lure them in there. Then quickly close the gates. Hey, miss. <sighs> All right. I will help you. Climb the ladder. The gate is not for us. First things first. The slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaves. You are the bait. If you're careless, you'll get trapped. Lure the animal into the pen, and then quickly shut the gate. Those beasts love to break the levers. That's why there's another one on top. Now down on the other side. Carefully. That's it. Run. run to the pen. And that's it. Hold on. No, it's not. Very well. There is another pen, back there. But the way is long, and the Borogs are fast. These ones are bulls, so I wouldn't trust the fences to stop them. If they get too close, try getting to higher ground. Precious? Beastmaster will tell us. Not too bad. For your first day. Not too good either. No more work down below, though. They want me to keep an eye on you. Their newest scheme to humiliate me, I suppose. Next, the mines. Try, try, try! Snuggle up, move! Is it asking riddles? Don't listen to her. There's a reason she's in a cage. Hey. Is it a witch, Precious? Does it know curses? Or riddles, perhaps? Water? No water, no. No nice water.
Hey, Snuggala. Kurz noch ach, komm, Frank. Rashi. Kommt. Please, Smeagol doesn't know. Doesn't know the words, does he? No. And what does a good slave do? Huh? A good slave that doesn't know the words? He learns. Maybe you should run, little slave. We want to be done before the third horn, don't we? Please, wait. The frail man must help us. Uh. What was that? The bridge. Now, oh, come on. They want you to search the tunnels for dead workers. Dead? Eight didn't report back yesterday. Find their bodies, collect their numbers, as quick as you can. Numbers? Yes, their tags. Like the one they gave you, eight. You're on your own now. Eight bodies, Gunner. eight numbers. It's too hot! Oh, these are the mild parts. Hey, or would you prefer the fiery is hey. What is it doing? Who wants to join the brainless maggots down there? Didn't think so. He's incredible. And now he's coming here. It gives me... Ah! <laughs> this one doesn't need a number anymore, does it? That's one, seven left. Not nice work. Mm -hmm. Freak is that? Oh, we must rest. Not now, love. Not yet. Hey, what is that? 
Looks like a frog. Don't listen, my love. Just one minute. No rest, my precious. Or someone collects our number two. They're sending the wake up to the tower. with a broken neck. What happened? The little squealer got what he deserved. Have them clean this up. Corner at the window. He doesn't need it anymore. Why do they call it King? This one 
Is it the king? Yes, is it? <sighs> Here we go. That boring story again. Sefford, the sand flood king. Blah, blah, blah. Stupid name for a stupid king. No kings that one precious, just bones that creaks. Ha! That's right. He's a useless millstone chain to my foot, neck. What did you say? Never mind. Went up into the light, the quiet one, he did. And she will be the king. There, window. I've seen people sit there all night, staring out that window. Hatching out plans. Good, clever plans. All dead and gone. What are you looking at? The bridge? The gate? Ah, oh, yes. That beautiful gate. Leads straight out of Lugborz, they say. There it is. Opening to the chime of a bell. A cunning invitation. Who lives in the tower? The master of the Black Pits, a sorcerer. But the orcs just call him Candleman. Candleman? Maybe they think it's him who's like Barnes in the tower. Alas, there is only one way into the Tower of Light. The one that our sick friend Darimon took today. He lost his hope long before he lost his life. As most of us do. Before that, however, he tried to find plans for the tower. He was obsessed with it. A great collection of maps, he told me. Stored somewhere in the halls of Grond. In a building made of steel. Halls of Grond? I could show you the way, if you want to see for yourself. Don't listen, maggot. No brains left in that old scrag. He's been down here too long. quite the climber. Water. Please. I told you, don't talk to her. <laughs> Go ahead. You can't hurt me anymore. Masters can. Cruel masters always finds a way to hurt. the filth. Special honor for you today. Some of our little crackers didn't go off last night. Some dirt eater needs to crawl down the tunnels and light them up. And among all dirt eaters, don't you two look like kings? <laughs> Stop staring, Sharku. 
It's gonna come down on us. Watch a dirty death. That's what they call slaves they deem useless. Come on, this way. Take a light. It's going to be dark. We like dark. Frail men can keep nasty lights. They used to have dwarves for this kind of work, but they're all gone. Now they send in the most starved slaves. Workers already placed the explosives. Lighting them, that's the dirty eater's task. At the end of the tunnel, you'll find a barrel full of flammable liquid. Go down, light it up, then run for your life. Why? When you smell the fumes, you'll know why. No marks. These tunnels haven't been cleared. Take some igniters, the red stones. Roll down to the barrels and put the red stone in. Then hurry back. Don't breathe too much. What's the frail man's job? I'll keep watch. can see in the dark, huh? Do you want to know a secret? Let's finish these tunnels first. Come this way. There are more of these cursed things. No, Smoke wants to go home to the river. Nice cold river. Well, you can't, can you? Breathe now. Breathe in. <sighs> One more, come on. What's the secret? Hmm? No, forget about it. Has it food, eh? Has it nice fish hidden away? Not here. 
Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. before he does. Then he can crawl in the dark, make nasty lights shine. <sighs> What's that? I smell incompetence. Aye, but who's the look in our glimmer rip? And now he wants bread for crawling through some dirt. Take it then. Nobody shall call Kuznach unjust. Back upstairs with you. Where is better here? Frail man can tell us secrets now. Remember the dwarves I mentioned earlier? One of them told me something once. Those buildings are up there, above the bridge, see? He had to build them. Dangerous work. But after a while, he knew where the guards watch. He'd steal red stones and hide them in a cave near the bridge. Just one stone each day, so the guards wouldn't notice. Why? Why do you think? What happened? Well, one day he slipped and fell. <laughs> That's not a nice story. Hmm, I suppose not. That's all I'm saying. But you gave her water. Let's stretch it out, he said. Hey, suffering. little Gollum got bread. Now Gollum owes it to me. <laughs> Your bread? Or are you deaf? Are you deaf, little Gollum? Perhaps Oak would sleep more quiet if we was his friend. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? I suppose frail man is fine. 
Stay close to me. I can show you. At the goes with the bell, we call it the Rattler. You can hear why. That's your way in. You cannot reach it from here, but there is another way. From down below. Master won't let us work down below. He barks worse than he bites. He only hates leak spittles. Follow me to the sewers. Long live the king! Ha <laughs> ha, snagala! <laughs> Why don't you move? Ah, come on, girl, move. We have a right fasura. Shaku, to the sewers! The stink is all yours. Ah, you stink already. Stay away from her, you imbecile! Good. I'm going to send you down with the Mormac flow. What's Mormac? The cage is going up to the Tower of Light. You know why we call them the Silent Stairs? When the doomed go up there in one of the cages, their screams are choked by fear. They go up choking, and coming back down in these channels, is the Mormac. Dark water that feeds the beasts of Mordor. When you leave the ditch, you'll see the Rattler. The hoist with all the bones, remember? The Rattler will take you up to the halls of Grond. If you ever get there alive. Let me just open this for you. Good luck. <laughs> If he watches us, the Dark Lord, what if he sees? Not tiny, Smeagol. So many things for him to watch. Mountains, enemies, spies. No, Lord is looking for the precious. He wants it, wants it. Says. What he says, yes, but he says, save the precious. And who has the precious, eh? Baggins, baggins. Not here, is it, the nasty, tricksy hobbit? How can we protect the precious when it's so far away?
the Black Legion. Marching to Dog Gold Door soon. That's what Kushnach says. Oh, that's nonsense. The Tarks is still prowling on our doorstep. <laughs> Not for long. The eye is upon them. for the war. But where do we find the maps? A house made of steel. That one, yes. How do we get there? No 
way to cross needs to take the long way round. What a pity we'll have to give them away when the war comes. I swear, something splashed down there. Right Oxes mustn't you. see us. My hands are bleeding. Yes, stop whining. Your blood will dry soon enough.
it? That that moving moving wood thing. could help us. makes the wood thing move like a skull on a string. Now see where it gets us. Thank <laughs> you. 
Paradise, my love. Yep. 
is it? <laughs> Don't forget the map, sweet one. This? No, not the tower. like the tower. Nasty tower of light. Ha, Time to go back. Orcs will miss us. Don't want to go up the silent stairs, do we? And there's our way back. Of a little hole. <laughs> ah, not such a good plan now, is it? This won't try to skip work. Ah. Rain was tampered with too. Snar is looking into it. Cut him open. No, wasn't us. Look at us. We're famished. Down to the lakes with him. See how he likes deserting them. <laughs> yeah. Lakes? Yes. Our fiery lakes. A bunch of slaves didn't report back yesterday. I want all missing numbers by the time they sound the horn. No, please. No lakes, no fire. Look how big his eyes got. Nazgûl. Nazgûl. 
Get up and drink. You're parched. I don't know. He looks like a scabbed lizard. And I've seen him climb like one. And small as a child. He will never make it to the bridge. Listen. The orcs want you dead. They want all of us dead. Let's end this, shall we? No more heat. No more ashes. What say you? My king, we have to move. What say you? No more heat. No more ashes. He cannot make that climb. This is madness. Orcs. My king, we cannot linger. You remember the red stones, yes? Here's all I need you to do. Climb up to that creaking bridge. My king! Fight, or keep eating dirt. It's your choice. But we are going. Creaking bridge! Just listen, just climb up. Up, as high as you can. There's a storage room with many barrels. One of them should have a black mark. Up to the creaking bridge. He's nothing but skin and bones. He can't do it. He can. You can do this. You know the drill. Take a stone, put it in the barrel, run. Get up. Let's show those vermin who I am. Take the red stones. Who's up there? Go now. Kaivad will wait on the other side of the bridge. As soon as you light your barrel, he will light his. Kaivad? Who is... Go! There is no time. Lord won't be happy, no.
goes the redstone. Is that what your silence is supposed to tell me? Not one of you has seen anything. Heard anything. Done anything. No one, except for this one. No, not us. Yes. You. <laughs> it wasn't there. It wasn't us. The great eye looks deep into your soul. We must tell them, precious. It's not just... Stop mumbling. Who led this conspiracy? Two. One on either side. We had eyes on your side. Who was on the other? He will know. His terrible light sees right through us. Very true. The light. The needles, the pincers. We have many ways to find the truth. No, no more needles. Did you say a name? Speak louder. Smeagol is not a squealer. Needles, pincers, remember those. No, leave us alone. They put us on their rack again. And then they mix us a squealer. No, no, don't let them hurt us. You're scared, a scared little thing. Someone used you, someone deceived you. All I want is one name, one name, and you're free. The frail man, it forced us, it was him. Frail man? Which one of them? This one. Him? He barely walks without a cane. And I ruined your minds without a cane. Now be quiet, little girl. I want to die in silence. Yes, well, you've said your piece. Open the cage. He goes up with the other ones. We gave her a name. She promised. Your friend wants to die in silence. So be silent. All clear. Moving on. White heart. That one's on the list. What? 
10, 18, 18, 20. That one's on the list. Are you certain? This one looks like waste. List says it's not. What list? The one that says not to be touched, like squealers and things the eye wants for himself. Get out then. Back to your cell. We can go. Now. Come on. I'm not gonna wait for you. Never heard of that list. The rest, move on. Die. <laughs> Long live the king. Long live the king. See, my dear, it's all good. Long live, Long live the king. Silence! Silence! Hear them? We made it count. Your father, we will double our efforts. Long story short, you need to triple your efforts. Whoever finishes first gets his bread. Everyone else, well, none of you will be eager to meet the Candleman. Shall we then? Breathing! Breathing! My father has many qualities, but forbearance is not among them. And after his little puppy died in your care, shouldn't we spare him any further disappointment? Three weeks. Want me to say please? No, you don't. Get in the cart! Follow me! 
Everyone else, you know what to do. Only one today. Spare me your number. I'll just call you ugly. Come. Keep your mouth shut, ugly. Don't want to spoil the Mormac with your spittle. See them down there in the troughs? Yeah, those are our little ones. Don't fall in. Just... Yeah, don't fall in. And here are our feeders. Pull that lever. Simple enough. Now, do that with every feeder you can find. And be quick about it. When you're done, you ride back up and report to the Beastmaster. Kalusha, if I were you, I'd be running. <laughs> unexpected. Nice bread with juicy maggots. Right 
trenches. Thousands of them, all fed with that horrible liquid. We need to send word to us all out of here. Good luck with that. That's the traitor's mark. They're always traitors. Ugh, you're like a fly, always buzzing around. Are you a fly? <laughs> are you a fly? Yes, fly. We are pesky little fly. Bzzz, always around when Ox is asleep. Go to your window. You cheated. This bread should be mine. We was fastest. Oh, you was fastest, huh? Give it to me. <sighs> we used to eat little oxies, didn't we, love, when we was very hungry? What was that? How they squeaked. With their screechy voices. So sad, so alone. Go to sleep, you freak. Orc first. Into the tower, into the sewers, to the carts. Hide in a crate, and off we goes. Tower, sewer, carts, and off through the gate. The tunnel leads out of the tower, yes? Yeah, good luck. Say you get to the carts, then what? We check every crate, we will find you. A cart driver, that's what you want. Someone really dumb who's in on your dumb plan. Is he a cart driver? <laughs> no, and you can die without my help. From the execution chamber into the sewers, but how do we get there? What's this bird mean? Some birdhouse that leads to the chamber. What's he like, the sorcerer in the tower? Like someone who rips your heart out with his iron claw. But first he will ask you some riddle, and if you don't know the answer, too bad. Maybe the tower isn't the only way out. You maggot brain. There is no way out. That's an increase of almost 100 new soldiers. Yes, but don't expect any more from this lot. Look at them. I am looking at this one in particular. The little one? What about him? My father wonders what's inside this unshapely head, and now I wonder too. Do! Take him to the tower. You can't. I can't? You can't. He's useful, and I am going to keep him. Perhaps we should have a look inside your head, Beastmaster. Clearly something vital is missing in there. Balrat, take that slave upstairs. You'll be fine. Come on, this way. What's that 
in the middle. It's called none of your business. Stay right here. Don't move. Don't touch anything. Ballarat! The pincers! Wait until you hear the gong, then go upstairs and do what you're told. Ballarat! Yes! We don't want to wait for gongs, do we? We're right here, in the tower, so close to the bridge. Hide in the cart and off we goes. But we can't do that yet, can we? Not without a friendly driver. And we see no friendly faces here. <sighs> what does it want from us, this sorcerer? Ask riddle questions, perhaps. Rip our hearts out with his claws. But we those riddles too, don't we, my precious? <laughs> Closed. Maybe there's another way in. What does it want from us, this sorcerer? Nice maggot bread. Sorcerer won't miss one bottle. There's the gate. So close. Bell. The bell opens the gate. But how can we ring it when we're hiding in a crate? I like new things. How long has Bell been overseer down here? Whispers. Such a horrific accident in the mines. Naturally, there's talk. And how fast can talk ah! turn to disorder? Uh, that's what they hurt our handsies with. Thy daughter has a lovely profile. It reminds me of a sponge. A sponge? Soaking everything up without question or resistance. Quite unlike her mother. Rejoice. Ah! I'm just paying compliments. You don't frighten me. But why should I want to frighten thee? I only have wished there to be friendship between us. You are not my friend. In that case, you should be frightened. Should I? Then I say we stop talking. Read. Ah! Ah! I don't care for your lofty tone. What is this? Your handwriting. Speaking of lofty tones, I found this quite illuminating. Who gave you this? Read it. I know what it says, and never forget my own words. Does our Lord? Art thou trying to threaten me? I only ever wish there to be friendship between us. Consider the matter dealt with. Which matter? The bridge in the mines. And don't ever talk about my family again. Have a good night, Lieutenant. It already is. What an unexpectedly diverting uh, conversation. I must be more uh, down here. Are you dying of some illness? Come closer. You 
must have many questions. <laughs> Our Lord hates questions. Questions. Three ways to silence them. Fear, one way. Two, a knife. Cut out a tongue. Very effective. Please, it wasn't us. Why is your number on the list? You're not strong. You're not wise. Clearly, you're not wise. See, that raises questions. Was the great eye mistaken? Certainly not. So why? You weren't the only one behind that act of sabotage. And it certainly wasn't that frail king who had to die for it. At least, not him alone. What's a third way to silence a question? Hmm? Well, giving an answer. Fear. Knife. Answer. Which one do you think we should apply? Answer. Good. So, what is the answer? It wasn't us. Because you were on the list. I know that. You know that. What about everyone else? Good men were buried underneath that bridge. And thus, a head must roll. And if it cannot be yours, then whose head shall it be? He wants us to give him names. Or it's a test. to send Smeagol into the light. Tell him the truth. Masters won't send us to the tower again. Smeagol is on the list. There are other ways to die. He could rip our heart out with his claw. He won't. Someone wants us to live. Someone very high. The Eye. The Eye wants us to keep our promise. So? What if he's testing us? What if he already knows the answer? How would he know? His birds always watches. It tells him everything. <laughs> Nasty birds. He will know. Must tell him the truth. I am waiting. The frail man! It forced us! It was him! The old desert king. He's dead already. And he wouldn't have done it alone, weak as he was. <laughs> he had two friends who helped him. We don't know their names. Don't worry. We will find them. Take that as your first lesson. Never leave any witnesses. Candleman wants us... Don't call me that. You can go now. Waiting for my father, aren't we all? What does he see in you? I really cannot fathom. Staunchness. That's a word I haven't heard in a while. <sighs> Say your prayer, little man. The Great Eye sees us. Go on. The Great Eye knows us. Good lad. Gollum, breathing halls, now. Go. You don't want to make him wait. This way. Don't want to make him wait. She speaks from experience. 
these days, Candleman's mood swings like a pendulum. Yes, and why, we wonders? He needs that daughter of his. She has too many ideas. Thinking about it, maybe you deserve a second chance. Thank you, my lord. Come with me. It's time for you to learn how to breed our carrier birds. This is the oven. As far as I understand, it's all about finding the right temperature. Get used to the equipment. In the morning, I want to see results. But Smeagol doesn't know. He doesn't know how. Start with the oven. Each egg needs a different temperature. Which egg you choose, that's up to you. That's all I can tell you. Our old breeder would have known more. Where is it, the old breeder? Gone. Don't forget to bring my keys when you're done. There's a question that's been troubling me for Make years. Make a fire, yes. Maybe How many logs do we need? Where does the sun go up? I wasn't asking him. Uh, uh, where? Where does the sun uh, go it up? It makes the red tongue stronger. No, that's not so how it goes. The sea, the desert. What's I need a mustache. I need a mustache. Kyle's tie up, my lord. No, let him shout. His smeagle doesn't know how. He will hear it out. You've got to put an egg in the nest. This is. Which king? Not him, the other one. Huh? Aenor, the last king of Gondor. Oh. Smeagol heard stories about the last king. Ah. Long time ago, in the Willowlands, when the river was young, tall king with bright eyes. He lived in a white city, we 
The silver towers. And in it, there was a stone like the moon. Oh, many a hundred years he ruled. Very just. Very just. Yes, that's how it's commonly told. Tell me how it ends. Witch King took him, and he was never seen again. And he was never seen again. Show me. It'll have to do. Put it in the cage. You're the first being it has seen. It will love and serve you for the rest of its life. Love, Sneeko? How do you want to name it? Loves us, does it? We shall call it Little One. Hmm. And you? You shall serve me now. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. Slaves, wardens, soldiers, anyone. What they say, what they eat, what they dream, I want to know. Show no qualm or pity. You are my monster now. And monsters don't make friends. You are dismissed. You can go back to your cell. Explain how the oh, shut up, Rush <laughs> It's what we call the fresh ones, don't we? The most juicy ones. Grashnik. Well, uh, just, just stay in your place. Over there. Please. Marvelous. Oh, what was that? Time for work. Uh, uh, run, little slimes. Shut it. That's the sorcerer's little pet. Golem. Hi. Krashnik siege Globarok. I I don't. I I Beasts. You go down to the beasts. No, no, please. Please, you don't have to do that. Gra, you go with him and show him the ropes. But the candle man awaits us. Sounds like a golem problem to me. Beasts! Ugh. Follow us, 
flesh snake. So, Garab and Glaba cleaned out the old compound. The well of stupidity never runs dry. Wonder who reported all of this, though. Yes, yes, who? And this one? Another fool from the desert? You work up here, so I can keep an eye on both of you. No need to worry. That one barks worse than he bites. Down here. What did it try to explain, we wonders? What? When it came into the cell, it said, let me explain. Explain what? Oh, oh, oh my... my tag. That's what got me into this hole. And... When they say beasts, what... 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 What tag? Rashnag has a tag. Oh, this. No, no, no. The tag for the cart. I had it. I always had it in my... Uh... It drives carts, does it? I was delivering food to the smelters. I'm sure somebody stole it. You mustn't worry about the beasts. The Smeagol helps. Helps good Greshnik survive. Yes. Yes, a trust Smeagol. Here we are. Climb to the other side. First things first. The slaves chase the cattle. The cattle chases the slaveses. Ah, in other words, this one is going to trample me. Not if we guide him. the others. There are more! Oh, I won't survive three days down here. <laughs> no, not without us. Nolan, you are expected in the tower. Don't worry, I will take care of him. Black Queen, my favorite spider. For months, she waits in her den for some unlucky prey. Just waits, perfectly still. And then, you don't appreciate my allegory. The virtue of patience, yes. So much to learn from nature. However, when the trap has been set for years and still no prey in sight, we know who starts to doubt that virtue, don't we? The Lord has nothing to worry about. That is what I wish to hear. I shall leave thee to it. <laughs> there you are. Glover and Garib has climbed the silent stairs like the Master wanted. Just Master. Who does he want us to follow next? There are more urgent matters now. Come. <laughs> what matters, Master? Baggins. I know that you once spoke of him to our lord. Describe him for me. What did he look like? Baggins. Very dark. Where well, we met, very dark. Hardly saw him. A little thief. So he was a little creature then? Like you? 
It was just wordplay, Master. Tall he was, yes. Tall and skinny. That's how it escaped us. Slipping through tiny cracks. his face. Big eyes, big black evil eyes, and it was bald like a goblin imp. Why does Master ask? You need not worry about that. Say hello to your bird. Hello, little one. See? He worships you. Now it's time to put that devotion to use. stronger and smarter than anything nature creates. See that jar hanging below me? There's a figurine hidden inside. Out of reach even for you, right? Well, not for your bird. You will make him fetch it for me. But first, a beast must learn obedience. Call him. Little one. Looks like you've bred a rebel. Well, go get him. Master asks about dragons. Why does it ask, eh, we wonders? Then stop wondering, because this doesn't concern you. Find Baggins, he would, if he knew where Baggins was. He would. And you would promise that? Find it, yes. Go and find Baggins for the Lord. We promises. Go? The Lord will never let you leave. Trust me. Come, nice bird. Don't be scared. Hey! Ah, Master said it loves us. Love doesn't rule out fear. Come back down here. If you cannot command, you must lure. Go and take some pieces of bread. Bird like crunchy bread? More likely the grain inside. Go, see if it allows you to feed it. Bread. See what a little grain can do. Now, call him again. Shh, quiet bird. Well done. Now remember the clay jar below me, out of reach for both of us. Point at it and send the bird to undo the knot. Little one! No. It did it! It does what we says! Yes. They do not care who we are or what we have done. Unconditional loyalty. Be that as it may, the figurine is still out of reach.
We has it. Come up here. Good bird. We're not eating this one, are we, precious? We must find this Baggins before the elves do. You understand that, don't you? You know the elves, and they're cunning. They want to fill our Middle Earth with starlight. And when they do, they will know all we have done. All we have done. But fear not. We will find the Shire and kill every Baggins we can find. And then you and I and all of us will finally be free. We just need to be patient. Can you be patient? Patient, yes, we are. We has been. Like spiders. Very, very patient. Good. For so have I. But now it is time for you to tell me. <laughs> tell him what? About this treasure that Baggins stole from you. Treasure? What treasure? My lord. The mouth is asking for you, my lord. Again? I must go. Return the bird to his cage. You and I will talk tomorrow. Exactly are we looking for? If I knew, I would have told you. It's the daughter. Wouldn't I? You search over there. Yes, mistress. What does it want? Closer. Find out what it's up to. Don't disturb his books. He keeps a system. It's spying on the master. Nothing here. I'll go look in the study. I... Shh. What? Who's that? He's one of father's rats. Kill him. <sighs> to know why. Could question it. Hmm. Keep it quiet. It must know something Father wants. Wait. 
Here we go. Here we go, dear father. What is it? A message from Sonara, one of his searchers. New information about a place called Shire. Meet at noon. Shire. This might be something the mouse could use. Shire. Baggies. Come. Use how? Again, I tell you if I knew. Let's collect that message. You stay behind and clear this place up. Make sure we leave no traces. They're getting away. He wants to find baggies. Oh, stop them, precious. Follow them, but quiet. Information. I'm the Candleman's daughter, am I not? It's hard to tell at times. from a window. Father's much too busy staring at books and paintings. Come on, let's move. Follow them quick. The great eye. The great eye sees us. The great eye knows us. Yes, he does. So let's keep working. Prayers alone will not build this bridge. <laughs> you, posture. You too. Have some pride. Yes, mistress. <laughs> and get some water. You look parched. Hey, we're looking for Sarah. The great eyes sees us. Come on. He doesn't know anything. Not that it's my 
useless, mistress. It isn't this treachery. You're right. It's none of your business. <laughs> Snara, I'm told you know where he is. He's watching over Hill 4, up on the lookout. What's she up to now? Up to the tower. Find that Snara before she does. They must never find Baggins. Snara! What? Visit us, the woman! now come on what's the old dog No time for questions. Just silence it. A beetle. 
a beetle. What about him? Me? Oh, well, I was a soldier. Not a very good one. First battle, I got scared, so I ran. Obviously, I'm not good at running either. Not very fast, is he? But he can drive a cart. Greshnake should get some sleep. I don't think I can. I can't take my eyes off that tower. Sleep. Smeagol will keep watch. Aren't you tired? Of course we are, of course. So tired. But Smeagol can bear it. He has bought lots of things he has for a very, very long time. Master's gratitude. Closer, so we can tell him what we learned about the Candleman spy and who murdered him tonight. Oh. Oh. How I hate the horn. Here they come. Which one is he? The fat one. You, number. My, your number. 10, 60, 92, 21. That's the one. You, come with us. Oh, why? Krasnik has done nothing wrong, we swears. Just a couple of questions. Nothing to worry about. One more time, one more. First, steel key to the bird tower. Second, up, up the bird tower to the execution chamber, where we wait for who? The crash name. And then, through the drain and to the bridge. But what if crash name doesn't want to go? What choice would it have? What then? Hiding crate. Greshnik drives the cart. Bird rings the bell. Gate opens. And off we goes. Off! Off we goes! It's a good plan, my love. Stay long. Did he call for you already? Gunnam has a long list of things to do. You're here a lot lately. 
What exactly does father want from you? Names. Well, he should remember mine. Although perhaps he does not. That bird is wild. It needs more punishment. Never be too gentle with beasts or slaves. Perhaps Master wants to read a book in his library now. Nice library full of bookses. Oh, he wants needles against the pain. Do you have more names for me? I don't recall having sent for you. No names, Master. Good Master. We only wishes to help. I. I only wish to help. How many times do I have to teach you? <laughs> Shut up! You may leave. All I need today is solitude and peace of mind. <laughs> Must make you go away, leave the bird. But how? His nasty daughter, perhaps. The two of them always fights. You worm, again. Why don't you find some place to go die? Yes, precious. Let's leave nice woman alone and say nothing. Ah, oh, very well. What does father want this time? Golem doesn't know. He's a worm. Daughter should talk to master herself. Why would I? Sometimes fathers get suspicious when daughters do things behind their backs. What did he say? Do worms have ears? No, they don't. This worm must go now and look for a place to die. No, you wait right here. I'll have some questions for you later. That should keep him busy for a while. Bird, Bird must fetch the keys for us. Locked. Master doesn't wish to be disturbed, does he? Yes, we shall be very quiet. Such elegant draperies, Father. You always had good taste in foreign things. Or did Mother choose them? Don't speak of her. Such old fabric. I need you to be patient. Have faith in me. I'm going to make up for everything. Look at these patterns. Screaming of guilt and regret. Mother was a traitor, wasn't she? What would they say about her taste? Forgive me, that was stupid. I, I just... I worry about you, Father. Worry? Ah, oh, don't listen. Come here, no. little one. I'd like Be to listen quiet more. now. You visited Snarly yesterday. Why? Sometimes a girl wants to make new friends. Why can't you just trust me? I will make things right this time. I just need you to be patient. I will not disturb you then. No, please, stay. We barely spend time with each other anymore.
is the keys. Bring us that nice sweet one. Fetch the keys. Come on. Hurry now to the bird tower. It brings Crash Snake to the cages already. This way. to train our birds some more. You better. It's a wild one, but the black ones learn fast. Gone. Duh. 
Must be another way. Hmm, not up here, it looks like.
is coming. How do we get him out? The, the lever. Try the lever. Up there on the cage. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A friend behind, would we, precious? I, I don't know what you say. We're not safe here, are we? What's our plan now? There's a bridge on the other side, to the west, with carts and crates to hide in. Sure, this is such a good idea.
Does it know riddles? Does it have nice riddles in the desert? Ah, riddles are silly. But this broth stinks. You know what I really miss? Cinnamon. What's cinnamon's precious? Cinnamon. Uh, it's a spice. I used to be a spice merchant, you know? Together, don't we? Our desert men friendly, precious. Is it our friend? Oh. Oh. Of course. I mean, that's a big, uh, you know? Yes. I mean, if we really get out of here, in fact, shouldn't we first focus on this? Focus, yes. Let's focus. Saved strong desert man. What about you? Do you have family back home? Rashnik wanted to focus, didn't it? Let's focus. You're not mad at me, are you? No, just focusing.
Piano Hala, are you all right? We hide in the cart. Krasnik drives. What about the gate? What if the guards want to see a tag or a pass? Good, good. It found us. So, Piano Hala, you're an optimist, aren't you? Get on the cart. Are you still in there? Say something! <laughs> so, let's say we make it out of the tower. What then? We'll still be in the middle of Mordor, surrounded by mountains full of orcs. Yes. How do we get out? There is a way. Yes, of course. Through the mountains? What? And orcs don't guard it? No, no, not orcs. It's Spider's Cleft. That's the name. That's where we found the tunnel. Spider's Cleft? Just a name. No spiders there. And no orcs? That sounds almost too good to be true. Very good, yes. If nice desert man follows us. Check, Sally. What? Another checkpoint. Clean back. Halt. Where are you going? Just to the, uh, just uh, ahead. Just, um. <laughs> just what? To the, uh, uh, because of the uh, delivery that I have from the tower to, to the gate. Tower of Light. Is there a problem? Kreit has the mark. Kreit has the mark. See? Kreit's not going that way. But, but, I, I have orders to go to the gate. Orders from the tower? Yes. On to the gate, then. But without this. Because this <laughs> is going down below. Precious. Don't breathe. Let him pass. Oh, this one's heavy. Boca, new crate. Oh. Corner. Have 
Van Buka? This one's a backbreaker. <laughs> What are they doing with them? Greshnik will wait. We saved him from the light. But what if the catch is him? Remember what the Candleman said? Leave no witnesses. What if they catch is the fat, slow Greshnik? If they hurt his hands with burning needles? Won't talk about spices then. Very 
Motoid asked. Give a question, give a crash neck. Mustn't ask us. Beetles and pincers. Crack, crack. No, no pincers.
sign of the crash egg. Many carts down there. Perhaps it's hiding on one of them. It won't. We'll just play our little game. Yes. Oh, quiet. Don't breathe. No one is here, sweet one. No one's hurting us. But we must be quiet. <laughs> Quiet. Are we quiet now, love? <laughs> quiet. Yes, quiet. <laughs> I must be quiet, precious. Come now. Silence. Don't breathe. <laughs> Careful. Yes. <laughs> 
take. Clean. All of them clean. Smeagol! What are you doing? <laughs> Smeagol must hide in the crate. No! They are all crammed! Get under the cart! Under it! They are looking for us! Both of us! Together! You understand? I just got them to believe my story! Don't ruin my chances! You must find another way! Go! Before anyone sees us together! build all their things with these, always nails.
head. So you killed him? Never. He was our friend. Cruel light. It hurts our eyes. Your only friend, I would imagine. What was his name? Deagle. Deagle. And it was Deagle who found the no, ring. No, it was ours. It was our birthday present. It was... Another lie. Old man must be careful. We have friends now. Strong friends, powerful friends, and they will not be nice like us, not nice. I have not traveled these many miles to listen to your lies. <sighs> Look into the flame. Uh, no, no cruel spirit, it hurts us. Uh, we didn't kill him, my precious. He was our friend. It wasn't us, precious, not us. Oh, no. Yes. 
Earth is back. Flowering reeds shine golden on the river's bank. You are on a boat. Deagle and you, going upstream. What is it? Has it found something tasty? Wait for us. Perhaps our bird has found nice pools. Uh. Your friend is humming your favorite song for your birthday. The rocks and stones are like old bones, or bare of meat. But stream and pool, and cool, so nice for feet. We only wish to catch a fish. We would love some fish now, wouldn't we, dear? <laughs> what is it, little one? What's uh, down there? Where to now? Grashnik, it's him. Oh, haven't I been here before? He left us. Let's follow, but quiet. <laughs> oh, a tunnel. Very dark tunnel. Well... Can't be too hard to find, no? <sighs> well, my precious. Nice and dark, yeah. But where? A oh, slimy little sneak. There is no tunnel. I hope the orcs ate him. Yes, he pitied you. and went ashore, nosing about the riverbanks. Even that day, on your birthday, you'd rather be by yourself. Why are you standing around? Bring it back! Ah, desert man stumbles right into the oxes. see them. When in doubt, go right. They'll see him. They'll eat him. Death, fool, fool. Death, quick now. Can't stand still, can you? You're not afraid of that ghost again, are you? I'm telling you, he's back, and he's angry. Another day of dead ends. Huh? Who's there? Has it found the tunnel? Has it? Very good. He remembered. You? What are you doing here? 
saving crash legs as usual. Now quick, more orcs are coming. <laughs> That'll help. How did you find me? Not us. Orcs did. Hundreds of orcs, and they're coming our way. Not smart to carry the red tongues. Not smart at all. Hurry, tunnel is not far. <laughs> Are those spider webs? A large spider, yes. Used to live here once, long dead. There's still a stench in the air, though. Nasty, yes. Not a nice path, not at all. That's why orcs never use it. But if Desert Man knows better ways because he knows so much. No. Don't touch the walls. Uh, even your bird doesn't like this. It'll come back. Always does. Come. <sighs> well then, lead the way. <sighs> oh, this tunnel never ends. We must have walked for hours. You have been here before, haven't you? We has. Orcs won't follow us here. Nice darkness. Go right here. How do you know? Smeagol left markings to remember the way out. On the wall, see? Very clever, my love. Now left. But if you know the way out, why didn't you leave days ago? No time for questions. We must focus. Wait. We are lost, aren't we? Just wait here. I can't see a way to get up there. No way, no. Not for the fat Greshnik. She will like him, yes, my love. She will like him a lot. No, I won't. Fumes in the air, silly Grashnik. Out. Put them out now. All right. No fire. Yes. Dangerous fumes. No fire. And now I can't see a thing. You, you stay close to me, yes? Dark, yes. We warned him, didn't we? Left another mark here somewhere. Come on, fussy. Is that you? Speaker? Shh! We must focus. Huh? What the plague? It's sticky.
desert man, wait here for a while. Why? What is it? He will see, he will see. See what? No, I don't see a thing. <laughs> this is it. This was the way. See if she's home. And there you are, miserable in solitude, yet even more so in company. Your eyes transfixed on some mucky hole. You don't see that a fish takes Steagle's hook, but you hear the splash. The fish is big and strong. He's dragged into the water, all the way to the bottom. He was drowned. No, no, that is not how he died. years it must have been down there on the bottom of the river, hidden from the world, waiting. A ring of glittering gold, like a tiny sun, brilliant and beautiful. So beautiful. Give us that deagle, my love, you said. It was our birthday, my love. And you wanted it. It came to us, to us, to us. How could you resist a lure that not even kings could withstand?
And so you silenced it. <laughs> That's when you murdered him. Right there by the river, in the flower beds. You killed your friend. Uh, don't listen, my love. He found your precious ring, and so you strangled him. It was our birthday. Of course there were flowers. You strangled him and left his body there in the slough. No, no, not us. Baggins, Baggins has it. He stole it. Our present, our precious. It was ours, and he took it, and he lied. Oh, what have we got in our pockets, is he asks. That's a cheat. Yes, sweet one, we will squeeze its filthy little neck. Oh, man can watch. Oh, oh. You want silence? We're done. We are. Close the door. What did he say? Too much of our two little. Release him from his cell. He shouldn't be alone down here. If he gets better, we might yet learn more from him. Are you sure? Your king is right. There's little hope that he will. But once in a while, I will bet against the odds. He bit my hand. Be more careful, then. Yes, yes, let us leave. Wise old man. We shouldn't be alone. Always so lonely, my precious. Yes, we are. You will wait. We wait, yes, nice elves. Where would we go to, eh? Was it Deagle who found the precious? Don't listen to evil sorcerers, my love. It was our birthday present. It was. And is. And we will not let them find it. The plates are empty, dear. The children stole your fruit again. Will the king see me today? Why do you have to keep asking, Mel? I crave disappointment. There's nothing else to eat. <laughs> Don't laugh. Man see. Man kalithank anden. Pedin an hak istek anden. Tanak sa u hebitha estel nadregat. No ropes, see? Cruel elves! Let wizard hurt our eyes! It hurts! That's why we bit the nice elf. But Smeagol would be good now. Swear it. Swear not to harm anyone in these halls. We swears. Smeagol will be very good. Else we'll see. Oh yes, they will see. Yes, we will. We see everything. Hear that rushing of water. That's our underground river. Don't go visit him. He'd jump with fright and drown you. And then how could we live with that? We'd be grief-stricken. Let's go up to the gardens instead. A much merrier place. Come. I just want to leave. The king won't see you. Not today, not tomorrow. Not in a hundred years. Enough. What's with that one's eyes, we wonders? Why don't they shine so terrible? The light of our stars has left her. She is blind. Keep your distance, understood? Mel is in there for her own good. And for us. Nice elves. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful hands. The Smeagol didn't mean to bite. I'm sure you didn't. You let him out? Wizard business. Does he still bite? He swore quite emphatically not to. Come on, Smeagol. Don't scare Naldus. Good, Smeagol. 
The children stole Val's food again. I'll see to it. Lalith? What is he doing up here? Wizard business. Have an eye on him for an hour, could you please? What? Us? Estegir aniran erathasir. Talia thank Talinig anden. Aye, Henion. We must talk to the king now. Wait here and behave until we return. Do not let him drown in the river. Why don't Laman and Lalith want him at the river? Hmm. Remember those dwarf prisoners and their miraculous escape? But I... What is he doing? Butterfly! Look at that. He's like a squirrel. You're going to hurt yourself. But I sealed it all off. Down river, yes. What about up river? The mountain path? That's a long climb. Hey, careful! <laughs> That's a long climb, and a long slog through the river. I doubt he can even swim. <laughs> Mountain path, swim. What is he mumbling? Thinking of ways to murder us. Will you move any time soon? I would if you would let me think. Take your time. seems troubled as well. Well, let's wait and see. What? <laughs> Nothing! crown of our king. Or is it too imposing? Well. River runs too wild. Maybe it's karma upstream.
the other end. Maybe the stream leads outside. See, precious. The water is not so wild upstream. Got you! What are they dreaming about? Well, let us listen together then. Here. 
almost outside. Ah, nasty light. Ah. Stay in the shadows, my precious. <laughs> See, elves can't keep us, can they? Nice fish is gone. Let's just leave. Little Gollum can't swim, eh? It blinds us! the river. Nasty light. Can't see a thing. Hear that? Bird. Good bird. It found us. It must be up there somewhere. Only path we have. Can't see no nasty elves anyway. First up, they down again. where we came from. See what I caught, Lalith? <laughs> <laughs> 
Is it a fox? A rat, I'd say. We told you, we see everything. Now come up here. Come up here. There's nowhere for you to go. Spiegel didn't try to run. He just went for his swim and got lost. See that shifting wall of mist in the distance, above the last line of trees? We call it the Ring of Haze. A haze so dense you can't see five paces ahead, tricking your mind like a twisted, willful mirror until you're utterly lost. And sooner or later, no matter how hard you try or how far you walk, all paths will lead you back to us, for none can leave or enter our realm without permission. So, as it stands, we must suffer each other's company for a while. Gandalf the Grey convinced our king to let you linger in his halls, which you are now about to see. Come. Bird! Bird! Bird must find help! Elves have caught us! Terrible spirits. Bird must find someone. Someone fast. Go. Go. It's all stone, precious. A whole tree made from stone. Come, Smeagol. The Elf King created that wall of haze. The King's nephew did. Gwendol. Our most splendid mind. The master of spells and riddles. But he is gone now. No biting, no stealing, no creeping. Do you understand? Smeagol swore to be very, very good. I'm touched. Aren't you touched? Very touching words. Where did it go, that master of riddles? A tragedy killed him, and all of his scholars. All but one. Tragedy? You know, why don't you ask our blind child in the cellars? Why her? She's the one who survived. But don't let her get into your head. She cannot be trusted. A liar, is she? That's why the king locks her up. Mel is not a prisoner. She is down there so she can heal and doesn't try to leave. Why would the blind elf run off? Because hope is a treacherous thing. She believes that Gwendol is still out there. Enough tales for one day. I am thirsty and your company is tiresome. So many elves. And all watching you. So show some myrrh. And don't touch the fish in the lake. We would like to know more, wouldn't we, my precious, about this elf who died? The one who made the hay so no one can leave. The one they call the Riddle Master. Why don't you go downstairs and ask Mel? You two deserve each other. What now, precious? The blind elf in the cellars, it knows things, they says. And they says, don't trust her. But elves are false. Let's go see for ourselves. He was probably held up in Rivendell. The councils at Elrond tend to be long. Still. is dangerous, they say so. Yes, twisty elves, but what's our foe's foe? Our friend, 
perhaps. But let us be good, my dear. Good as fish. Is it home, the strange elf? We hear it breathe. You're the prisoner, the one who talks funny. No, he doesn't. And smells funny. What was your name? Smeagol. Smeagol. <laughs> odd name. She's odd. So everyone keeps telling me. A deal, then. We leave each other alone, and we shall relish our solitude and noble oddity. What say you? Deal! She's odd, and we don't like her. It was my pleasure, Smeagol. We don't talk funny. to us. Find another way, he says. Be very nice and friendly. <laughs> oh. oh! You scared me. to be very, very nice. Nice, friendly elves letting Smeagol walk their beautiful halls. And why can't the blind one walk free like us, we wonders? Yes, poor girl. She was part of Gwendol's circle. The Riddle Master. Our most brilliant mind. He and his scholars tried to protect our realm with spells, but the Mirkwood devoured them all. Mel was the only one who returned, blinded and confused but alive. Whatever darkness touched her, she did not know or would not tell. She blamed herself for the fate of her friends. The king himself bound her to the cave, secured it with a spell to seal away the darkness. Maybe you can take her food sometimes. The children keep stealing her meals. Take whatever you like, just put it on the table by her window. But don't talk to her. Yes, it's not the best wine. Please don't take her too much of that. Not much use anymore, but who knows? Just come back if you change your mind. <laughs> Blind elf, Smiggle brought food. It's not hungry, perhaps. Nice food, yes, and news. We has news. News about what? News about the Riddle Master. Yes, the one they thought dead, but who's not? Though perhaps the blind elf doesn't want to know. No, she doesn't, does she? Let's leave her alone, my dear, not to plague her with boring tales. Who? Who saw Gwendo? Did it say something? Who saw Gwendo? 
Oh, they wouldn't tell Good Smeagol, would they? The very nice elves. They wouldn't tell us their names. No, not us. But we hears, we hears them whisper. The Riddle Master has been seen, yes, out in the woods. Beyond the terrible haze, if one can trust the elves. Beyond? Good Smeagol would help, of course he would. Help the poor blind elf. But we cannot leave through the mist. The elves said so. Difficult, yes. And if there were a way through the haze, then what would you do? Mm, if we could, my love. Fair question. If there was a way, of course, yes, of course, then we could help her find her friend, the Riddle Master. <laughs> Thank you for the wine, Smeagol. What is he doing? Watching, thinking, scheming, or just biting his nails. It's hard to tell. Smeagol, come down. It's time for your fish. <laughs> nice fish, nice elves, nice Smeagol. Get something for Mel while you're there. <laughs> Probably for the better. I have my own gift for you today. The snail shell on my table. Put it in your mouth. The snail house? Why? You still haven't found the missing bell. Or have you? Smeagol tried. No silver bell. Not anywhere. You haven't looked in the king's chambers like I told you. Too many eyes. Cruel, shining eyes. Always watching. Good for them. Take the shell. Don't worry, there's only water inside. The silver bell. It breaks the curse that keeps her in the dark. You must always ask three times, yes? A custom of your tribe, the people of the Sizzling Hills. We're not from Sizzling Hills. There's one bell missing in the door. Put it back in place and the spell is broken. And the blind one can leave? You help me, I help you, as promised. Why does Smeagol need to drink? They warned you about me, didn't they? I must know that you trust me. Drink. It's merely water. Any news about him? The Riddle Master? <laughs> Only rumors, fleeting words. Ah, there. We drank it. Well done. The water connects us now. Connects us? If I made no mistake, let's give it a try. Only water, it said. It's merely water. And mere water it was. Now, go up to the pond with the stone tree. Wait there and listen for my voice. A voice? Now again, what are you two hatching? Just talking. Well, be careful with her. What does it mean the water connects us? To the pond, it says. Listen for my voice. What new elvish trick is this? Now listen. 
High above the Queen's waterfalls is a cave with hundreds, with hundreds of lights. We call it the Glittering Grotto. Can you see it? The Queen once dreamed of a water road full of stars, connecting waterfalls with her chains. She did not live to see it through. However, the grotto still leads right to the King's doorsteps. But the elves won't let us go up there. So many rules. But we don't care about rules, do we? I will be there with you in the water. There's going to be a lot of water. Talking to yourself again? Yes, yes, to ourselves. Good elf, very smart. He has become much too polite. You know, the elven smiths of Aregion made the same mistakes. If your mind is ever focused on the things right before you, you sever the connection to the life around you, and you might easily be deceived. Why were they created if they are so fragile and ever-changing? We don't really know, my dear. This middle earth well, is fragile and changing still out in the woods, but maybe they think Old this trees is talk slowly. Us, <sighs> the king's not in his rooms now. That's our chance to find the bell. <laughs> I wonder myself sometimes. don't like this plan, do we? What if the elves are right? What if she's evil? But what's evil to them may not be evil to us. <laughs> elves mustn't see us, precious. We hunted down some spiders yesterday close to the border along the forest river. Remember the old frozen? Small towers. One left, 
one right. On top of each tower is a bell. Their sound sparks the beauty and spell of the waterfalls, invoking the river's spirits or taming it. And the river will guide you up to the grotto. The elf wants us to ring the bells? Ring the bells. <laughs> like the others. Doesn't bind us with ropes that burns our feet. are somewhere behind the left tower. <laughs> An elf doesn't tell us what to do.
Found it? Well done. But don't open it just yet. This is not a friendly door. What's a friendly door, my precious? A friendly door doesn't hurt unwelcome guests. An unfriendly one. Not that welcoming. A door can hurt us. There should be a candle next to the door. Blow it. Candle is out already. Blow. <laughs> One of Gwendol's inane ideas. Door is friendly now? Only one way to find out. Well, well, well. made of wood. Is he the riddle master? The sculpture? Yes, that's his likeness. All close to it. He never got around to finishing it. in the nasty little master's chambers. Nasty. Scratchy, Scratchy little word. word. How smoothly it rolls off your tongue. I can show you around if you like. It's strange in here. Don't be afraid. Let me guide you. Look for a big shell from the river. It must be hidden somewhere amid Gwendol's chaos. Shell? How can a shell help us get to the king? The shell doesn't, but what's inside it might. What's inside a shell? Air. <laughs> the elf is mocking us. Find it, then I will show you. Riddlemaster was Mel's friend. The only one I had. We used to invent new spells together. Like the haze? Yes. Like the haze, unite air and water. That was the dream we shared. One day I would float down the river all the way to the sea. And he would be in the mists above me. What happened? We failed. <laughs> Baggins all them on his belly. Funny things. Not dead, 
sleeps in cozy water bed. Got a helmet yet no head. Shiny tiny stone instead. Shush out. See, we already make a good team. Now go back to the waterfalls and I will teach you another trick. along the western borders of our realm. That is where we created So tell me, who is Deagle? Who is Deagle? 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 You can tell you me. You can tell me. Can trust me. That is where we created the Ring of Haze, the Riddle Master, his scholars, and I. There at the creek, beyond an old bell tower, we closed the final breach, and I lost the light of my eyes. <laughs> However... Gwendol left a spell to open it again. For if, at any time, it might please us to leave unnoticed. No, oh, it pleases, pleases me now. now. Help, help, help me. How does it know about the... Overheard some bits and some peace while the wizard was here. And I, I heard him say, by your hands, it tripped. Twice, the wizard was lying, we swear. Drowned it, drowned it in a river. Deagle was long times ago. Was he your friend? Our only friend, but Smeagol doesn't remember his face anymore. I am so sorry. alone in the dark, but Smeagol cares. That is nice of you. I shall thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Only a mirror. See how they makes us starve, my love.
knocks at her door. Now free the shelf and get it out, out of our head. First, we must get out of these rooms. We found it. See? I believed in you. You're like Beren, stealing the gem from the enemy's crown. Though I'm no Luthien and Beren had a pleasant voice. Come back down here. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. And what I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind, and I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. And now, Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now I wonder why. What secret does this creature hold? What knowledge? I have locked it, you hear that? Hear what? Anyway. Huh. Your silence tells me that I'm right. I would hide it in my vault, Gandalf. Behind my magic doors. Keep it safe. Keep what safe? Don't treat me like one of your dwarf friends. I would never use it, of course. Whatever it is. Just keep it. Keep it. Hidden. Keep what hidden? Do you doubt our strength? My borders are safer now than those of Lorien. Your haze, you mean? Yes. I felt its powers when I entered. Beg your pardon, my king, but your realm is an island in the darkness, and your crown is made of leaves. It was here in Mirkwood where it took shape again. Sauron's shadow. Don't utter his name. Oh, I shall utter it freely now. Sauron, the Dark Lord, growing in power right on your doorstep. And you didn't see. The White Council freed Mirkwood from the Necromancer. Not King Thranduil and his people. The White Council. It was my people who bled thousands of years ago on the hills of the Moranon. You don't teach history to me, wizard. I don't need your wisdom to find the truth. Are you done, my king? I am! You can go back to your dwarves now. You're throwing me out. I never asked you to come here. Did I? Fear not. We will take good care of your prisoner. I hope you will see more clearly one day. Our fate may depend on it. Oh, I will see clearly. Don't you worry. What do you say, my friend? 
Scared. I won't harm you. Don't let him find us. I can still sense him around you. After all those years. Oh, yes, I've seen him too. His shadow looming over the battlefield. And then again, in my dreams, a terrible light and a Who's beautiful that? darkness. The stars above him stain. Not this time, my friend. Oh, I will see clearly. Don't you worry. I prefer. And yet we are destined to never find ease. Like autumn dwindling and falling from shade to shade. Longing for the shores of Valinor until our thoughts become dim and our stars mere remembrance of sweet bliss. Ah, that wasn't at all bad. Thank you. Now all I need is a beginning. loose somewhere on the grounds find him but do him no harm yes my king you heard him look around i'll go tell the others Who's there? Vanished. Can I go?
Where are you? <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's just me. <laughs> the king, he knows. He, he knows. Stop, stop. Stop hissing. Where are you? Talk to me. Precious. Don't be scared. They won't harm you. This is the path of our ancestors. The departed members of our king's family. Each candle burns for a soul that is left, never, never to return. return. Do me a favor, will you? Gwendolyn. They must have put his face up there, too. Do you see it? No. Don't look at us. Go sleep. Please. Please. Can you try? He's alive, somewhere, beyond the haze. Smeagol will find him, won't he? For nice men who can't see. We're at the gate. More elves down there. Follow the street. It will lead you back inside.
Inside. Don't celebrate yet. They're already looking for you. Be vigilant. He's cunning. Indeed. He was right here, tried to open my door. Are you sure it was him? Unless a squirrel called himself my precious. Where'd he go? Let me think. Did I see him? Oh, alas, I am blind. Down to the river. Shh, keep your head down. They're gone. Lead me down to the river. But that's where the elves went. I said I know a secret path. Never said it would be easy. Come, take our hand. Don't touch me. I can follow your breath. How does it move, the blind one? How does it know where to put its feet? Moss. They whisper me the way. The elves are mocking us again. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. Too. He's a good swimmer. Shh, quiet. To the waterfall. Can you hear it? We hear the river. Just go down, further down. Careful. Flow is not even. There's a waterfall ahead. That's the one.
What's it doing? Listening to the river. Secret path. You must show us secret paths. Shh. Go ahead. To the waterfall. I'll be right behind you. They're already there. No path there. Can't go up the water now, can we? Not up. No. What's it doing? Shh. Oh. Huh? No. Shh. Get inside. The elf is doing witchcraft. Hold your breath. The river can be fickle. But for now, he's willing to let us pass. Milk touches the water and the water goes away. Good, good. It didn't tumble. The elf with pale eyes. How does it move so well, we wonders? The stones guide me. The wind, the water, the moss. Love the moss. And still, there is a little hint of light. Fleeting, like old memories. Memories are nice. We don't want them, do we, love? Why? Memories are all I have. Smeagol, my friend, we've made it. Friend. Come, let us follow the sun. Elves won't get anything from him. Torture barely made him talk, and the elves have no heart for torture. Thy confidence could be mistimed, dear friend. The old Greybeard has entered the woodland realm no more than two weeks ago. The wizard? How do you know? <laughs> they may call us the mouth of Sauron, but we do have eyes and ears. The Grey Beggar might suspect something. Join Marhok's men in Dol Guldur. Free the creature. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. This is a death sentence. Only if one dies. We'll strike in Gondor as well. Provide a diversion. An open attack? There will be war. It's too soon. Let the enemy find what our Lord desires, and the war will end too soon as well. Thy daughter will join thee. Seize this opportunity. All I wish for thee is to redeem thyself. I will. Leading Merlin 
into filthy woods very selflessly, yes. Take our hand. Who did you say, Sir Gwendol? <laughs> Grimaces are wasted on me, you know. Yes, some elf. Some elf. Some elf did. All look the same to us. Poor elf. No shining eyes. Take Smeagol's hand. What's this? Uh, precious? Eh? What is it? And are you looking at my ring? Is it nice? Yes. Is it powerful? Is it precious? <laughs> It's not a magic ring, but Gwendol made it for me. I had tried to make him one just like it. Not my best work. He never quite fit, so he wore it on a chain around his neck. Uh, careful here, lots of nasty rootsies. Listen. What is that? It's still them. Truthlings. Truthlings? Go climb a tree and find some Lairo for me. Lairo? Lairo. You don't know Lairo? It's a, a golden lichen. Looks like a dwarven beard. What's the elf want it for? You'll see. Your language is not very nuanced. This one's orange. Ah, and it stinks. Who's that? No. Be cautious. The truthlings will lull your thoughts. Let tongue speak true whether you like it or not. Take a bite of Laira. However, like this. Then their spell is gone. And so is most of their marvel. So the real question is, do you trust me? It's a trick, my precious. How could it be a trick? I am giving you a choice. What does it want, eh? Wants to ask us tricksy questions. But why? The Smeagol has been very good to her. What if it asks about the precious? What if it asks about Baggins? We don't even know where Baggins is. And Mel has her own ring. Not powerful like the precious. The elf said so herself. <gasps> That's true. Are you ready? <sighs> ah. You're eating. Well then. Come on. I want to listen to them. No bridge here. I know these waters. Let me calm them down a little. Go ahead. She's 
willing to let us cross? Here comes angry rivers. Truthlings to know the truth. It wouldn't. You're hissing. When you lie, you always start hissing. Schmeagol doesn't hiss. Get inside. We can spend the night here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pity we can't hear the bells high up in the tower. Can you see the moon? Don't fear. The white face will not find her. But I wish to be found. What's her shape now? Lil must be hungry. Perhaps could Smeagol find some eggs? Is it waxing? It can't be full yet. <laughs> no. No nice moon. Smeagol goes and finds tasty things for Mel. Go then. A little break from your hissing and rattling. The moon. You are strange. That's what Deagle always said. A little strange. Yes, perhaps we are. That's quite all right. You're not really looking for eggs, are you? The worm! <laughs> so big! But Mel doesn't like eggs, is perhaps. Yes, precious. It's fine. You can keep it. The Smeagol keeps looking.
something tastier for man. Enough food for one night. Maybe we find some more. What would she have asked us, eh? Had we not eaten the rootsies? But it doesn't matter, because tomorrow, after she opens the breach for us through treacherous haze, what then? Break her nasty little neck! What would she have asked? What if I could? Mushrooms. Smeagol doesn't eat them, but now perhaps? Thank you. No mushrooms. I never liked their smell. <laughs> Melly's not nice. Smeagol looked everywhere. His hand stinks of leaves. God, that stinks. Why did you eat the Lyrell? Why? Because she ate first. And why did she, eh? We wonders. Why did she eat from the rootses? Shh. There's something up there. We knows that voice. See who's back? Nice bird. Has it looked for help? I don't like the sound of this one. It speaks a strange tongue. Because we taught him, didn't we, my precious? Shh. That when you have the wrath. She scared him. There is something foul about that bird. Where is foul? We will go sleep inside. The elf can stay and watch the moon. <sighs> All right.
Stopped following. How, how did Mel get up here? There was a voice in the air. A voice guided me. I think it was Gwendal. In fact, I'm sure of it. Gwendal? I believe somehow he saw me. Protected me. Come, the gate is not far now. Didn't protect us. It was the Wraiths playing tricks on Mel. It was him. I'm sure of it. What's the name of these, my precious? Just plants. Now, a glade opens before her. Large tree in the middle. Yes. We are here. The border of our realm. Where's the breach? How do we open it? I don't know yet. We knows a breach. That was her words. And I never said I knew how to open it. We only ever tried to close it. We? There were eight of us. Gwenda was our teacher and mentor. This is where I last saw them or anything for that matter. Right here he stood, at the tree. And then he was gone. And the others? Dead, or worse. And I was blind. Let me think. Gwendal stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six runestones. 
Each runestone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. <sighs> but they had to be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. Ghosts? Not ghosts. Memories. Echoes. This place still remembers my friends. I can't listen to them. I'm too afraid of what I might hear, but the echoes might lead us. How can whispers lead us? Ignore birds, river and flowers. Just listen. Breathe in the scents. Can you see them? Yes. I must know what happened to the six that stood at the stones. Look around. Follow them. Tell me what you see. This stick has elvish marks on it. That must be Eristor's staff. It's broken. He must have fled that way before the chaos devoured him. Where does the scent lead you? Is this one of the stones where the elf stood? If you're standing where I think you are, then yes. Any idea? The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. So this is where Eristor stood? Yes, I think that's right. Three were men and three were maidens. Eristor, Kellen, and Dondofer. Prian, Kethil, and Turian. Eristor, Kellen, Dondofer, Prian, Kethil, Turian. If I could remember how it all happened, then maybe I'd remember the order of the spell. Things. Yes. Looks like a knife. Yes. Most of us carried yes. one that day. Faces. There are faces in the stone. Faces? Cursed elf faces. Looks like two sea elves. They must have tried to hide. Did one of them wear feathers? We all did. Well, except Kathy. She had her beautiful braids. have been Kellens. Perhaps we find something in the water. But Mel said... Mel said, Mel said, yes, Blind Elf is such a big help. So? See where it leads us. The cannon elf, Mr. Mark.
boots. Ah, uh, yes. Those would be Turians. She always needed to feel the earth. Elf's name again, Turian. of that blade. Made of an antler, we think. Dondafer carried a knife like that. <laughs> knife. Dondafer. Yes. Good. On to the next one. The middle master's butterflies. It's blood. What? You found something? It's a sign. A sign left by the riddle master. What? Are you certain? It must be alive. Must have fled through the breach. Well, describe it. It's a butterfly drawn in blood. Blood? <laughs> Long dry. We should hurry. The Riddle Master didn't stand at one of the stones, did he? No, he stood here under the tree. She elf with feathers. That would be all of them. Let me see. <sighs> Something must be wrong. Where they all stood? Quest, Nen, Gwilith, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luth. Quest, Nen, Gwilith, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luth. Deceit. Is it friendly, this breach door? <laughs> I hope so. But the woods beyond, they are not. Stay close, you will get lost without me. Oh, let me rest here for a while. <laughs> Tired it looks, yes. Tired and spent. Of course, we can wait. Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. 
picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Now, no time for rest. Not now. Yes, now, now, poor blind, lonely elf. We shall be her eyes. I am ready. What does it want to hear about? Is the moon shining now? No, no faces. Nice starless night. Not a single piercing spark. No stars. That's not a good omen. Not good at all. Smeagol doesn't like this place. The birds don't seem troubled, though. Tell me about them. Birds, yes. We see thrushes in the trees. They are friendly birds. Keep going. This used to be such a beautiful place. Oh, yes. So beautiful. But most beautiful of all are the flowers. A whole sea of yellow bloom. Can you see now? Yes, elf sit very still and listen closely. Picture all the nice flower beds and moths and snails and butterflies. Picture the flowers for me. Irises. The entire glade used to be overgrown with them. They must be in full bloom now. of irises, so nice. All swallowed by mists, holding them in their clear back. Yes, now it sees. Now it sees. Irises. Irises, time is not spent. Iris, Iris has no scent. You are mad. He goes riddle. We remember. I remember. There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones like here, and they light eagle, and looked up into the sky. <sighs> no. No, no, wake up! He tried to steal it. Try to get away with our precious. But we didn't let him, did we? No. Free. You killed him. You're weak. You're weak. You killed Deagle. All those years sitting in a cave eating fish. We could have been a lord. I hate you. No wonder the precious left you. And I hate the precious. Be quiet. I hate it forever. Forever! Be quiet! Be quiet! Precious! 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 Say, say something! 
something. My precious. Be gone then. Be gone. The judge you've always been useless. Useless! This isn't the other side. No, it's not. <laughs> Finally, we told you you wouldn't get far. <sniffs> Our king has a few questions for you. And wouldn't some answers be sweet? He could help us, yes, perhaps. Help us escape. If he's truly alive, the Riddle Master, if it was his voice we heard in the mists. Your supper. Yes. Where's the other one? The cook. It is me now. Has I found the Gwendol Elf yet? Still nothing but escape in that twisted mind of yours. Elves hasn't been looking? Not all of us are so quick to believe, Mel. Yes, wicked elf. Got into our head. Forced us to free her. Hmm. We warned you. Maybe Neldis can help you. She knew Gwendol better than most of us. She's upstairs with her lanterns. Although, I doubt she still wants to talk to you. Hello, Gollum. Finally leaving that cheerless cave. It's always good to talk with you. What's it doing? So now you want to talk? What is it doing with all the lanterns? Oh, must be his friendly day. I'm preparing a ring of lights for tonight. What's tonight? Tonight is Midsummer Night, which means celebrations out in the woods, which you hate so much. Two of them aren't shining. Oh, yes. The children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. And like each and every year, they are scattered all around. Is there anything you want? You already had your fish. We have more questions about the Riddle Master. Look, I have tried to be nice to you. I truly have. But you scared the children yesterday, and you scared me. So unless you came to help, please leave me alone. Lightstones. Gollum can have a look around. Perhaps the elf will be more friendly then. Perhaps. Perhaps. Behave. The Riddle Master doesn't know we're a prisoner, does he? No. We couldn't make him help us leave. If he is still alive, the blind elf heard his voice. But where do we look? Don't break anything again! He barely talks to any of us. Shh, quiet. Most times he's nasty. Whenever he tries to be gentle, that's even worse. <laughs> well, we expected nothing else. If kindness will not help, we must find different measures. I must know what he told Gandalf. Uh, a swarm of truthlings has been visiting your gardens lately. Good. 
Good. Whatever it takes. Truthlings. Good thinking. Let's come up with a plan. Truthlings, eh? But we know how to trick them. The magic root that the blind elf showed us, that's what we need. There it is, magic root. <laughs> Wants to ask us, eh? What about? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. Elf King can't protect it. Not against him. We must have it. Keep it safe. Hide it. Hold it. Never let it out of our sight again. How are you, Smeagol? So far from home among strange folk like us? You and us, we had a bad start. We have been hard on you, Lalith and I. And we would like to remedy that. <laughs> we don't hold grudges. Good. We need your help with something. Do you like fireflies? Everyone likes fireflies. Especially when there's going to be a party tonight. In the King's Garden, up on the tower, there's a whole nest. We'd really love to catch a few. And aren't you such a marvelous climber? <laughs> they need our help, eh? Elves lead the way. Good Smeagol always helps. Excellent. Let's go. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep your voice down. This is a solemn place. where the beetles hum their peaceful song. Now it's your turn. We will wait here. Be careful. Do you see it? Right there, where the swarm is. Don't worry, they don't bite. <laughs> don't bite, do they? No, they won't. <laughs> Found the nest! Can you hear us? Them? No, the nasty beetles hum too loud. What are you? No, wait! Oh. Oh. must talk. Tell us all they know about the Riddle Master. Gwendol. Gwendol. He knew Mel quite well. 
Did you know? Everyone knew. It wasn't much of a secret. Ah. Well, that explains it. I visited him once. Gwendol. He didn't know that I had entered. He was talking to his mirror. His notorious vanity, I thought. But then I heard another voice reply. From beyond the mirror, I'm quite certain it was Mel. Sounding very kind for once. So I left. So as not to disturb them. The mirror, eh? Must have a look at that. What else? The Shire. Perhaps they know where Baggins lives. Bilbo Baggins. He visited us once. Where he lived. Somewhere beyond the misty mountains, I believe. Hmm, that's where he went when he left us. Beyond the misty mountains? Nice talk that was. Good elves. Very honest. What are you doing? Colin will have a look in the mirror. Mirror. Let's see. Else, but Gollum can be clever too. Looks like foolish blind elf wasn't always blind, but always was a fool. What's this? You were right. Of course you were right. 
I have bound my mind to the source. What's left of it anyway? I'm so, so tired. I have been trying to send you my dreams through the haze, but they are dark dreams now. I need you here. The enemy has come. Find me. Come to caress Mindon. They can't cross the haze yet, but I need to seal the gate. Oh, let me think. I cannot think. The picture, the one we carved into the bark where we first met, remember? That shall be the password for the gate. Find me. Come to the source. It will be dangerous, but I am lost without you. What gate? Where? How can we get through the haze? The elf must tell us. Who are you? This almost looks like one of the cook's nasty lights. <laughs> she will never know the difference. circle will be complete. Circle? A ring of protection for tonight's feast. Like the haze? If you will, but far less ambitious. The place where Mel and Riddlemaster first met. The cook must tell us where it is. You don't give up, do you? I do remember that night, the big oak in the King's Grove. It was the first time Mel was invited to one of the gatherings. King's Grove? The elf must show us the way. We will be very good, very grateful. I doubt that. However, one of our feasts will be there tonight. You helped me, and that shall not go unrewarded. In truth, it might do you good to leave these halls for a while. Come to me whenever you're ready to leave. Stone, this one. And with that, my circle is complete. We're inside. Yes, you are. So? You felt nothing? No reluctance? No. Pretty lights. Very pretty. You are getting better, I see. And a breath of fresh air will not hurt you either. I shall take you to the tree tonight, if that is still your wish. Come to me whenever you are ready. It will take us to the tree. Help pack the lanterns. not far south of here in the mountains. Abandoned hundreds of years ago. That is all I can tell you about it. Now, who told you about Karas Mindon? 
elves like to talk. Go ahead. I already warned the others about you. I will stay here and put up our lanterns. The big tree. That must be where the Riddle Master carved his hidden picture. What is Gollum doing here? Neldis invited him. She always finds a way to spoil the fun. Here he comes. Elves, move aside a little. Please. Why? So you can kill more squirrels? Go talk to someone else. Or nobody, for all I care. You heard her. Go. Uh, the squirrel was already dead. How could we know it was so dear to the elf? Perhaps someone friendly could help, but you don't have friends, do you? Ah, be quiet! <coughs> Always so mean, and now you are lost. <laughs> Better let Smeagol do the talking. What's wrong? Not your kind of music? Cold elves, whispers behind our back. Names. And why might that be? It's a feast. Enjoy yourself. Smeagol is not welcome. He's ugly and a liar and, and a sneak. Did someone say that? Smeagol just wanted to sit in the tree and watch the lights. Everyone always hates him. Always. Always. <sighs> Children, let me go talk to them. Come, walk with me. You are strange, Smeagol. And a liar. But for the sake of it, I will help you once more. Just a little bit nice to our guest, will you? Do we have to? By all means, you do. This old tree can only do him good. Come on, then. Climb our tree, but stay in sight. Now, there's a picture in the tree, Riddle Master said. The word to enter his castle in the mountains. Why don't you join us, Neldis? We haven't seen you all evening. Yes, it is midsummer night. Come and drink with us. Thank you. Maybe later. Something's not right with my lanterns.
careful, my precious. Mustn't risk our neck, must we? word. What's the elvish word for deer? We can ask the elves later. Perhaps we seize the mountains from up here. Time. The demons never talk. No sign from Mahooks. That blood is so early. Look at all that blood. I can't tell. Oh, we barely saw one. Oh, they're in oh, the trees. Borg yes. climbed one and the elves shot him down. Sign from my hoops, mate. 
The more elves are coming. Hey, how many? I can't tell. We barely saw one. And they're in the trees. They're all dead. Not all, my precious. Listen. <laughs> Nasty orcs. How did they get here? How did they get through the haze, we wonders? The blind one. They must have found her on the other side. The ruins in the mountains must find their riddle master. Let us be certain. Cautious, my precious. Elves, orcs, avoid them all. Any sign of Gollum? I don't see any tracks. Hard to spot between all the orcs. They're looking for us. Stay on your toes. I can hear more of them coming from the river. Where's Lannis?
Easy now. Easy. Lalith, be quiet. They kill each other. Yes. Drop a stone. Distract them. Drop your weapon, all right? Let's talk this out. You first. Which one of them? That's your last arrow, and there are many more of us behind me. What? What? Yuck. Yuck. I cannot help you. Go! Can't trust the elves. There's no other way. Them. The 
mountains. Almost there. The ruins. We made it. <laughs> there are fires. Candleman and his orcs. To the gate. Riddlemaster must be inside. Riddlemaster must let us leave. But what if he doesn't? Then we will not be very friendly. They're killing spiders. Going up. Up is good. This goes, eh? in a bowl. Should have gone with Mohawk and his troops. Had some dwarf, no beard, that was the order. Very no word about smart. elves. What are we even here for? Some cursed ill thing for the war. The sorcerer wants it, Orbeck said. He already caught one cursed elf. 
doesn't stop bragging about it. All bags are full. Let's try this yeah. way. He was right there! of you. Say, please stop telling me things I already know.
Everyone wants to share their opinion today. Uh, anyone else feel the desire to leave? Seems that fate is on my side today. We know we know how to open the gate. Something felt wrong. Can you put it back? You heard him. He'll let us live, so let's not test his patience. Don't trust him as soon as we open the gate. Shh. Find some water. Well? Give us time. Elf gates are fickle. Is this a friendly door? No. No, this one can be very unkind. What is he doing? The stones need to go into the holes, yes. But which? There's more holes than stones. Say if we find that miraculous source, then what? How do we control it? As you always say, we must have faith. Won't need it for very long, though. You're about to kill us all. Starting with you, I hope. Found water! So? What about it? Don't talk. Don't talk. Just think. think. Remember the door to Grendel's chambers. This one is quite similar. We need a secret word to open it. And here is where my wisdom ends. Grendel must have changed it. We know as we found it. You did? How? Doesn't matter now. The tree where Mel and Riddlemaster met. The picture they carved into the bark. Dear. Of course. How did I not think of that? Let me try. Tell me what you see. The left one. That could be a tree, no deer. Left. That doesn't look like anything. Let's keep trying then. What side should I change? Try right. <laughs> Looks almost like a deer, but not quite. Maybe the stars are in the wrong places. Wait. <laughs> Looks almost like a deer, but not quite. <gasps> Eight of us weren't able to control the source, and we spent years creating it. No surprise, given how long it takes you to open your own doors. getting somewhere are we done just one more little thing hurry up then did you put it out this might be it let's try come over here <laughs> ready yes stay close to me and cover your eyes Karandil.
the Elvish curse. We're blinded. Maybe I can be your eyes. Describe beautiful gardens to you. Uh, uh, not the time for jests, is it? Orcs will find another way soon. Stay away from me. Schmeagle never meant to hurt her. No must believe me. Stay back. <laughs> Did the Candleman find her? It was your bird who found me. Bird found us too. They forced me to open the breach for them. Chain was jammed. They forced me to open the breach for them. The sorcerer saw a lot more through that animal's eyes than just you or me. He knows about the source. We need to get there before he does. I must find Gwendo. That sounds promising. <laughs> Spiegel can lead her. But the elves must swear, swear to let us leave and not follow us ever. Very well. Swear it. Yes, I swear. The sooner you're gone, the better. Come on. There are a lot of stairs to climb. Crossing a long bridge now. Careful there, bridge is damaged. Shh. Listen. Come here. What's it? What's that sound? The wind. How can wind make? Shh. We shouldn't stay here. You're right. Stay close to me. Melly's safe now. Thank you. Be the Queen's chambers if the smell doesn't deceive me. Oaks, elves, one is like the other. Leave them all and hide. But out there, his eye will find us. The elves can protect us from him. Did you say something? Elves must wait. Spiegel will help. And be my eyes, yes. I already know how that ends. The side is full of haze. And floating things. Floating? Floating like clouds. Is that another riddle? Where are you?
Mel. It blinded me. He's with us. Or so I hope. Elliot Adam Hiratien, Ar Fenfen Eliatha, Iden Ad Legithank. Henian. So he will help us. We'll be good to them if they keep promises to us, but we must make haste now. The enemy has sent a sorcerer. I saw them through the haze when they crossed. And I saw you. I knew I heard your voice. What does a sorcerer want? All I know is he must never touch the source. My strength is dwindling. I fear the well is lost to me now. It will need all I have left, and all of your strength too. Mel, this will not be easy. They are coming. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Let me guide you. We must enter the haze now. Don't let the shadows into your heart. Let me seal the door. This should give us some time. Come, walk beside me. The haze is spreading, my love. And all it touches is forever changed. It didn't change you much. You still wear my ring? I do. Your strange companion. Can he be trusted? Ah, there he is. Good elves can trust us, of course. Here we are. Don't get too close to the well. What's happening here? The entire hall is screaming. It's being torn apart. Above the well, the blazing orb fueled by wind and water. That is the source of the haze. What's our plan? Destroy the source. No. I fear the haze is all that holds this hall together. But if we could somehow reach the well, we could try to heal it. <laughs> but the elf said, don't go near the well. There are two wind towers that feed the haze with air and music. See those openings left and right. If we manage to close off both towers, we might calm the haze just enough. <laughs> it will not be easy, though. We promise to help the elves if they help us in return. I don't know. There's no time for doubts now. I can't go, you know that. I will stay at the source, calm it as long as I can. You two divide the tasks and close off the towers. So be it then. I will take the left tower. Your friend can take the right. Can he climb? Like a spider. Follow the song of the wind, Smeagol, until you reach the highest chamber. There is a large wind gate there. Close it to silence the song. Up, up to the top. Close the wind gate. Watch your step. The haze has eaten away much of the towers.
dangerous, the elf said, to heal the source. How dangerous? Elves know best what they're doing. Mel shouldn't stay with the unfriendly elf. Perhaps she will leave with us. Not this way. The wraiths from the woods. Spiegel just wants to say good luck, doesn't he? Good luck. Good luck. luck. the other elf, do we? Of course not. All elves are false. Not Mel. Mel forgives us, yes? Mel sees that Smiggle is good now. That elf doesn't see anything at all. Not her, not anyone. Elves can keep their useless rings as long as we have ours. But Mel needs us to be her eyes. The blind one has her elf friend now. And Smeagol, he will be alone. Alone forever. Unless, unless he finds the precious. We want it. We want it. Precious only ever made us lonely. And how long until the Dark Lord finds us, eh? How long after he finds our ring? We must find it before he does. We must go back. We never wants it back. We hate it. We hate it. Mel will keep us safe now. If only, if only the nasty elf was gone.
I tried to take the stairs. There are no stairs. Exactly. Uh, I can't move it. How is Mel? The wind is still humming. The elf didn't shut the gate. No. Good thing you came. It looks like Mel was right to trust you. Let me help you get up there. At least that I can do. Watch. Do not trust your step, or you will end up like me. Elf has nothing to worry about. Smeagol helps. Thank you, Smeagol. I will try to heal it, but it may take more time than we have. Good luck.
I wish. Eh? What do we wish, my love? I wish that Gwendolyn was gone. Then we could be Mel's eyes again, and she would drive off wraiths and evil men who want to hurt us. Smeagol can drive evil men off himself when he holds the precious again. Just think what we could do. Yes, just think. Hidden from all eyes again. No more orcs. No more elves. No more anyone. No, no. Smiggle is done being alone. We want it. We need it. Could make us so many friends. As many as Smiggle likes. And they all must praise him and give him presents. Dark Lord has many friends too, hasn't he? That, that's all we want for you, my love. All we ever wanted. That's why we need to escape. Gimbul! Find them! Must hurry! Scared little orc, hmm? But this is our riddle master. <laughs> Time for our little game, my love. He would take Mel and go into the dangerous well with her. Smeagol won't kill him. No, of course not. Good Smeagol, just throw a little stone. Then Mel can be our friend forever. Friend, friend. When has Smeagol ever been any good for his so-called friends? Smeagol always helps. <laughs> then what about the orc from our cell? That one always hated us anyway. Very well. One more. Even his little one betrayed Smeagol. Smeagol never did it any harm, did he? No, Smeagol gave it life. It loved Smeagol forever. Candleman said so. Very well. One more. Remember the Glashneg? That one didn't go home to his desert, did he? No, the precious, the precious made us do it. Yes, we heard that one before, hasn't we? Smiggle is good now. And what about his precious Mel? We helped her. We was her eyes. Was that before or after Smeagol tried to break her neck? Remind us, because we forgot. Doesn't matter. Precious can't protect us anymore. Be quiet. We hate it forever. Be quiet. Wait. Oh, 
elves will let us leave now. Nimdach! Nimdach, Buboshi! There, oxes. Go. Warn Mel. I will follow as fast as I can. Candleman is calling the Dark Lord, and we don't want him to come. No, no, we don't. Blind Elf, stay here. What are you doing? Destroy it. Destroy it all. Smeagol. Only one question left to answer. Where does the sun go up? Where does he linger? What does a storm illume with glistening rage? The night. Oh, my God. 
lamentation first they'll impale you then carve you like a suckling pig and serve you as your own last meal and when you're nothing more than a shivering heap of flesh they will throw you to his feet and with the last remnant of consciousness you will realize that your real torment has just begun come out
Gwendol. Happy ending, yes. Now time for promise keeping. We did not forget. You kept your word, we will keep ours. The elves will let us go? You are free. Leave if you must. Or come back with us. They will go to their king now. He must know what happened. The elves of Mirkwood can no longer hide. War is upon us. And no haze will protect us now. You may have awakened us just in time. Yes. Very lucky they met good Smeagol. But it's a long way home, and the kind elves must be tired. Perhaps they want to rest first. Let Smeagol keep one last watch. Mountains, sweet one. And under the mountains, and then into the Shire.
Isn't it nice? All alone. And when the precious is ours again, then they all has to be friendly, don't they, my precious? Very polite to good old Smeagol. We will make them, make them crawl! <sighs> Mm-hmm. <sighs>